Salam students. I all are doing, hope all are doing fine. Yes, today we will go ahead with the second part of our third chapter, tides. In the first part, we learnt as to how tides occur, what are tides called and its duration. What are we going to learn in our second part? Okay, in the first part, we learnt about the high tides and the low tides. Uh, tides when the water level is closest to the coast. High tide when it is far away from the coast, it is the low tide so today we are going to learn about the different types of tides okay so types of tides now how are these tides classified as the timing of tide varies every day the range of the tide also keeps on changing as i had told you the time varies suppose if it is high tide at nine o'clock in the morning so the second high tide will be after 12 hours 25 minutes yes and then again after 12 hours 25 minutes again so within a day you will have a cycle of high tide and low tide so the time varies and also the range of tide also keeps on changing range means it with what velocity with what speed the tide is there okay then on a full moon day and new moon day the highest high tide occurs yes and on the days of the first quarter and third quarter the high tide is at its minimum so what happens to the high tides on the full moon day and a new moon day yes so that is on the day of purnima and the day of amavasya the highest high tide occurs on these two days the high tide is at its highest level whereas on the days of the first quarter and the third quarter the high tide is at its minimum the first quarter will come after the new moon day and the third quarter will come after the full moon day so on these two days the high tide will be at its minimum yes so the level of water rising will be lower than the average high tide and on the full moon day and new moon day the level of water rising will be higher than the average high tide so how is this occurring and what are these tides called as so these types of tides are the first one is the spring tide and the second one is the neap tide so first we will learn about spring tide what are spring tide on a new moon day and a full moon day the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon act in the same direction as we have learnt earlier that on the new moon day and the full moon day the sun the earth and the moon they are in a line yes so since they are in a line and we have also learnt about the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun as well so since they are in a line they and they act in the same direction the pull of the sun and the moon is also in the same direction so what happens as a result of this as a result of this the total pull increases since the total gravitational pull is from one side that of the sun and the moon so the total pull also increases now since this total pull increases the water level rises yes so double the pull so the water level will also rise and the tides on these days are much higher than the average high tide so because of the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun the water is pulled so it means it comes closer to the coast and it is higher compared to the other average high tide so that is on the full moon day and the new moon day the high tide will be at its highest compared to the other days got it children so on the new moon day and the full moon day the tides will be at its the high tide will be at its highest compared to the other average high tide fine so these tides are called spring tides what are spring tides spring tides occur on the new moon day and full moon day on this day the sun the moon gravitational force acts in the same direction since it acts in the same direction the total pull increases when you pull something in one direction so the power is more so this pull increases and as a result of this the tides which occurs on these days high tides which occurs on these days are higher than the average high tide and these tides are called as spring tides spring tides occur on the new moon day and full moon day fine here we have a, a picture over here. See, we can see over here. Yes, you can see over here. This is the sun over here. 
the moon is here and we have the earth over here so they are in a straight line isn't it and what happens the gravitational pull of the sun the gravitational pull of the moon they act in the same direction so since it is acting in the same direction the water level rises so we have high tide over here and we have high tide over here also on the opposite side yes so this is on the new moon day and the full moon day got it children fine as the bulge at the high tide is greater the water at the low tide recedes much more and the water level during spring tide is higher than the average high tides and lower than the average low tide now what is as the bulge of the at the high tide is greater the water at the low tide recedes much more okay now see this level this bulge over here yes it is greater isn't it and see the low tide yes it is very small so the water as the high tide is greater the low tide will be very small the water level of the during the low tide will be lesser compared to the average low tide because of the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon the high tide is higher than the com compared to the other average high tides so the water level during spring tide is higher than the average high tides and at places where there is low tide the water level will be lower than the average low tides are you getting me i'll repeat once again spring tides occur on the full moon day and new moon day on these days the gravitational pull of the sun and moon act in the same direction yes and as a result of this the total pull increases since the total pull increases the water level rises higher than the average high tides so these tides are called as spring tides what happens during spring tides as the bulge is higher at the high tide is greater as we seen in this picture over here the water in low tide recedes so high tide more high tide so the low tide places where there is low tide the water level will be lesser compared to the other days and high tides will be higher compared to the other average high tides is this clear children about spring tides very good we'll go ahead neap tides we learned about spring tides now we'll be learn, learning about neap tides what are neap tides while revolving around the earth the moon makes an a right angle with respect to the earth and the sun twice a month isn't it so the first quarter and the that is the first quarter and the third quarter on the new moon day and the full moon day we have they are in a straight line yes while in the first and the third quarter they make a right angle in respect the earth the sun and may and the moon make a right angle to each other twice a month it is two times twice a month that is the first quarter and the third quarter this position occurs on the first and the third quarter of each month fine on both these days the forces of the sun and the moon operate at right angles on the earth so on the first quarter and the third quarter during that period since they are in a right angle so their forces the force of the sun will act as a through the right angle and the gravitational force of the moon will act also in the right angle so from two different directions they will be acting so since they are acting from two different directions their power will be lesser as compared the power of the pull will be lesser as compared to that of the spring, spring tides yes so what happens due to such conditions the water level rises less than usual at the time of high tide so only one um, uh, from one side the sun is pulling and from one side the moon is pulling so that is why the water level which rise will be lesser as compared to the usual time of the high tide and fall in water level is less than the usual at the time of the low tide so the water level in during the low tide will also be lesser yes it will not be more there will not be more water fall in the water level the water level will fall very less during low tide and this happens because the sun and the moon are in right angles to each other and such tides are called as neap tides okay so neap tides occurs on the first and the third quarter of the month this is twice a month it happens when they are in at the right angles 
and as a result of this the since the, the sun the moon and the earth are at right angles the they forces act in two different directions okay because since they acting in two different directions the water level which rises is less the water level which rises during the high tide is less than the usual time of high tide and the water level which falls is also less during the low tide and this happens because the sun and the moon are at right angles to each other and the tides which occurs on these days are called as neap tides what are they called as neap tides you will understand it better through this diagram okay now over here we can see okay this is the sun over here we have the moon is here and we have the earth over here okay now they have formed a right angle see right angle means 90 degrees isn't it you have learnt about it 90 degrees so the sun's pull will be from this side the moon's pull will be from this side yes so since the moon's pull is stronger than that of the sun we will be having a high tide over here okay i'll show you again okay the sun's pull the sun's pull will be from this side the moon's pull will be from this side since the moon is closer to the earth its pull will be stronger than the sun so we will be having high tide over here and on the opposite side also there will be a high tide and from the direction where the sun exerts gravitational pull is there it will be low tide yes so this also will be low tide got it children so now what is the difference over here because it is at a right angle the sun the moon the sun and the moon are at right angles with that of the earth okay neap tides are little lower than the average high tides and a little higher than the average low tides yes spring tides what were they were higher than the average high tides and lower than the average low tides whereas neap tides are little lower than the average high tides and little higher than the average low tides is the other way around that is because of the gravitational force acting in two different directions right you will understand it better when i show you this table okay so over here we have the difference between the spring tide and the neap tide when does the spring tide occur it occurs on the new moon day and full moon day when does the neap tide occur it occurs on the first and the third quarter of the month yes second point what happens on the spring tide the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon act in the same direction since they are in a straight line they act in the same direction and what is the position of them during the neap tide the sun and the moon are at right angles to each other yes so during the spring tide it they are in a straight line and during the neap tide they are at right angles to each other what happens to the tides on spring tide on during the full moon day and the new moon day the tides on these days are much higher than the average high tide and lower than the average low tide and on neap tide the tides are little lower than the average high tide and a little higher than the average low tide so comparing the spring tides and neap tides the tides on neap spring tides day the high tides okay the high tides is higher compared to the average high tides and lower than the average low tide neap tides the high tides will be lower than the average high tides and the low tides will be higher than the average low tides that is because of the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon act in two different directions during the first and the third quarter so those are the neap tides and the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon act in the same direction during the full moon day and the new moon day that time we have the spring tides is this clear children so we have learned what have we learned today we have learned about the spring tide and the neap tide which days do they occur how is the position of the sun the moon and the earth how is the pull of the sun and the moon and what level how the water level rises during the high tide and the low tide that is what we have learnt in today's session 
will be learning ahead again the continuing the part third part of this lesson as well so you have to uh, stay tuned up and get to know this lesson better hope you have understood and i will be taking your leave now thank you sairam